Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about CIP, Clean and Place, Tank Heater, and the purpose of CIP, Clean and Place, Tank Heater, Types of CIP Heater, Selecting, What Happen If Temperatures Not Maintained. What is the purpose of CIP, clean in place, tank heater? Why CIP, clean in place, tank heater is important? That, what are the different types of CIP heater? How to selecting a CIP tank heater? What are typical CIP temperature set point? What happen if temperatures not maintained? CIP, clean in place, systems are important components of an RO system's maintenance and cleaning process. These systems help to maintain the efficiency and longevity of the RO membranes by removing fouling and scaling deposits that can build up on the membrane surface over time. The design of a CIP system is similar to that of an RO flushing system, but it is designed to use chemical solutions in addition to water to remove fouling and scaling deposits. The CIP system typically involves the use of a chemical dosing system that is used to inject a cleaning solution into the RO system. The cleaning solution is then circulated through the system, typically at low flow rates, temperature and pressures, to dissolve and remove the accumulated deposits. A CIP, clean in place, tank heater is a device used to heat the cleaning solution used in the CIP process. The cleaning solution used in CIP typically contains a mixture of water and chemicals, and heating the solution can help to increase the effectiveness of the cleaning process by accelerating the chemical reactions that occur during cleaning. What is the purpose of CIP, clean in place, tank heater? By heating the cleaning solution, the CIP tank heater helps to dissolve and remove stubborn residues, such as oils, fats, and proteins, from the surfaces of the equipment being cleaned. The higher temperature also helps to sanitize the equipment by killing any remaining bacteria, viruses, or other microorganisms that may be present. In addition to improving the effectiveness of the cleaning process, heating the cleaning solution can also help to reduce the cleaning time and the amount of cleaning solution required, which can lead to cost savings and increased efficiency in the cleaning process. Overall, the CIP tank heater plays a critical role in ensuring the cleanliness and sanitation of the equipment being cleaned, which is essential for maintaining product quality and preventing contamination. CIP heater types There are various types of heaters that can be used for CIP tanks, immersion heaters, circulation heaters, inline heaters, steam coils, solar-powered CIP heaters. Immersion heaters, these heaters are placed directly into the cleaning solution in the CIP tank and use the process fluid as the heating medium. They are cost-effective and easy to install. Circulation heaters, these heaters have an external heating element and are designed to circulate the cleaning solution through a heating chamber. They are efficient and provide more precise temperature control. Inline heaters 
These heaters are installed in the piping system that transfers the cleaning solution to the CIP tank. They are compact and easy to install, but may require additional pumps for proper circulation. Steam coils. These coils are made of stainless steel tubing and are installed inside the CIP tank. Steam is passed through the coils to heat the cleaning solution. They are energy efficient but may require more maintenance. Solar-powered CIP, clean in place, heater can be an eco-friendly and cost-effective way to heat cleaning solutions in a CIP system. Advantages of a solar-powered CIP heater is that it can be used in remote locations where there may not be access to grid power. The system can reduce energy costs and lower the carbon footprint of the cleaning process. Immersion heaters, common problems. While immersion heaters are a cost-effective and simple solution for heating CIP tanks, there are some potential problems that can arise. 1. Scaling. Depending on the quality of the process fluid and cleaning solution, immersion heaters can be prone to scaling or fouling. This can reduce their efficiency and increase energy consumption. Corrosion. Immersion heaters are exposed to the cleaning solution, which can be corrosive. Over time, the heater element may corrode and require replacement. Maintenance. Immersion heaters are often located at the bottom of the tank, which can make them difficult to access for maintenance and cleaning. For temperature control. Immersion heaters may not provide precise temperature control, as the heating element is in direct contact with the cleaning solution. This can result in temperature fluctuations and uneven heating. Material selection. Choosing the appropriate materials for the heater element and sheath is crucial to prevent corrosion and ensure longevity. Common materials for heater elements include copper, stainless steel, while sheath materials can include steel, titanium, and Teflon. What density? What density refers to the amount of power output per unit area of the heater element? Choosing the appropriate what density is important to ensure that the heater can provide sufficient heat without causing damage to the heater element or the cleaning solution. Power source. Immersion heaters can be powered by electricity or steam, depending on the availability and cost of these energy sources. Electric heaters may require additional safety measures to prevent electrical hazards, while steam heaters may require a separate boiler and piping system. Size and placement. The size and placement of the immersion heater can impact its efficiency and effectiveness. The heater should be appropriately sized for the volume of the CIP tank and placed in a location that allows for even heating and easy access for maintenance. Heater's set point. The set point for heating the cleaning solution used in CIP depends on several factors, including the type of cleaning solution the temperature requirements for the cleaning process, and the materials being cleaned. In general, the temperature of the cleaning solution used in CIP is usually between 40 to 70 degrees Celsius, 104 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the specific application. 
The cleaning solution may be heated using a variety of methods, including steam, electric heaters, or hot water. The set point for the CIP tank heater can be determined based on the specific requirements of the cleaning process. Typically, the temperature of the cleaning solution is monitored using temperature sensors and the set point is adjusted accordingly to ensure that the cleaning solution is heated to the appropriate temperature range. Important note, temperature of the cleaning solution should be carefully controlled during the CIP process to ensure that it is within the required range for effective cleaning and sanitization. If the cleaning solution is not heated to the appropriate temperature or if the temperature is not maintained within the required range, the cleaning process may not be effective and may even lead to product contamination. If heat not maintain. If the temperature of the cleaning solution is not maintained within the required range during CIP, it can result in incomplete cleaning or sanitization of the equipment or surfaces being cleaned. This can lead to bacterial growth contamination, and potential product quality and safety issues. If the temperature of the cleaning solution is too low, it may not effectively dissolve or remove certain types of soils, such as oils or fats, which can lead to buildup and accumulation over time. This can also lead to reduced cleaning efficiency and potential quality and safety issues. If the temperature of the cleaning solution is too high, it can cause damage to the equipment or surfaces being cleaned, as well as potentially denature or degrade the cleaning solution itself. Therefore, it is critical to carefully monitor and control the temperature of the cleaning solution during CIP to ensure effective cleaning and sanitization, as well as to prevent potential damage to the equipment or surfaces being cleaned. Thank you for watching this video.